and then we go back and we click new all we have is a save button and cancel and save button doesn't even work we have now locked on our SharePoint but the data is still there Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to hide the data in SharePoint. Before I get into it, please like and subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm not to my goal yet, but it's okay. I'm, I'm still going to keep working on it. I'm going to try and bring you content that you don't see anywhere else. So how to hide data in SharePoint? You know, We can add a filter to all items. And then once we do that, people are going to say, well, you can click the new, the new button and create new. Well, what you do is you enable content types and you change the fields to all hidden on the form so then no one can create new in SharePoint. Um, after that, you could even create a Power App form. So this is on your SharePoint, which links you to your original Power App. So that way, if someone clicks new, we can send them to our created Power App. And finally, uh, some people say, well, well, I want to be able to view the data, but not everyone else. Well, create an owner field, right? And then we'll hide that on Power Apps and we'll default it to ourselves or multiple people. And then we'll apply the filter to me. So therefore only I get to view the data. I'm gonna show you all that. Now the easiest way, of course, right, is to just add a filter. So if we came up into settings, list settings, we went to our view and we said, you know, we added a filter here in the, in the filter section. And we said, you know, when, uh, you know, created by is equal to this person boom you're done okay all the data hidden uh, no one's gonna see anything I'll see you guys later <laughs> no I mean you know that is the simplest easiest way to hide the data in SharePoint right so you have your data here in power apps you can still uh, let's let's change the data here so this will be uh, new form form one so this will create a new form for us and this is gonna be submit form form one and we'll submit here and let's say we had a new event name let uh, oop, I didn't spell new right here let's see button new there we go so we have a new form here we click on new we say this is a new form and then we submit that data is still going to SharePoint we can still pull that data back out uh, but if we refresh here you know we're not going to see anything so let's go back to our our view right and let's remove that filter so if we go to filters and we say show all items there we go it's still showing you know it's still putting the data in SharePoint it's just hiding it I mean that is the easiest way so people can't see your data all right now that all the data is hidden in the view right we only have one view it's all items all the data is hidden someone could come in here and they could hit new and then they could fill out all the data and write to SharePoint. But we don't want that, right? We don't want people to be able to write in here. Now, people are forgetting the functionality of SharePoint, you know? There are some tricks in here to do that. So let's just do that. In the settings, list settings, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to advanced settings. In advanced settings, we're gonna allow the management of content types. And this is how we're gonna hide all of our fields in our form. So once we allow our content types in our item content type here, we have our fields and you can see it says required or optional. All we got to do is hide each one of these fields. So just go through, I'm, I'm going to fast forward through this part for you, but I'm going to go through and hit hidden on all of these fields. Now all of the fields are hidden, right? They're not going to appear on new forms. So if we go back and then we can turn off the allow management of content types. That's just gonna hide the changing of content types in our new form. And we go back to our library and we hit new. All we get is add attachments and there's just a save button. And when you click save, it does nothing. So an, an extra little step we can do is that we can actually go back to list settings, advanced settings, and we can remove the attachments. So let's see disable attachments and then we go back and we click new all we have is a save button and cancel and save button doesn't even work we have now locked down our SharePoint but the data is still there if we go to power apps and we go to our screen and this is my data all of the data is still there this is so much easier 
than creating a Power Automate that runs in the back end and you have to wait for the Power Automate. Maybe you don't wait for it and then you click too fast and then you you know the permissions change and someone clicks in there and they can see all that. No, but keep it simple. That is the object of Power Apps is to keep it simple. So we've now hidden all the data. Now, the next thing that I said we could do in my list was we could create a uh, Power Apps form, right? So we could customize the form. In my form here, I'm going to remove everything. I'm just gonna remove everything. And of course, attachments doesn't work. And so now that we've removed everything from the Power App, we can come in here and we can add a HTML text, let's say. And if you know a little bit of HTML, we just do an a href, a href, right? So if we do a href equals, and then we get the link to our Power App, and then we say, you know, go to our Power, uh, go to Power App. Remove the quotation marks. That should work, all right. When we click new, it brings up a link, and you know, you can make this prettier if you want. I'm just trying to show you how you can do this. You click go to Power App, it launches Power Apps. All right, so now we've hidden all the data in SharePoint. We now have a link to Power Apps. We showed how to do it out of the box. All right, so the next question that I know someone's gonna ask is, well, I wanna see the data in SharePoint. Okay. You want to see the data in SharePoint, right? So I'm back in Power Apps. I added in SharePoint an owner field. Now you can name this whatever you want, but we're going to hide this field later on. And this owner field is going to say the permissions of who you want to be able to see the data in SharePoint. And we're going to change the default selected items. The default, let's see if we can find it, the default selected items to your name or whoever's names or as many people's names as you want to change it to. You know, you can make it an array of people's names and we can search through it. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the default selected items. What we're going to change it to is this equation here. We're going to say if we're in edit form, and we're going to say, oh, this should be form one. If form one dot mode is new, then we're going to display, uh, you know, do a default of the person and so you'll just need to change you know your name here your name here and then here in the third spot so if we made that uh, you know we're going to change each of those three settings and this equation is going to go in the default selected items of your owner field now another thing before we get into it you have to add the connection of office 365 users so you need to have that connection in there also so once you've added data and added that connection, click in the data card value and then default selected items. I've already wrote this for myself, so I'm just going to paste it in there. Now, paste that information in there. So now when we're in new form, it defaults to my name. And all we're going to do is we're going to hide this field. Now it's still going to be there, right? We're just going to change the visibility to false. And we're going to hide it in there. <clears throat> so event, so hide, only show I own, all right? So everyone is actually going to default that um, field to you. And when they submit, it's going to submit into SharePoint. And we're going to go into list, list setting. And in filters, we're going to change the owner field, which is that. And we're going to change equal to to me. Now, this is basic SharePoint that uh, maybe not a lot of people know. But these are just some little tricks. So if the owner field is equal to me, I'm always going to be able to see those lines. So we can go in there, you know, and we can write, you know, anyone can come in here and they can, they can write. And every time it submits, it's going to update and I'm going to be able to see the data. No one else is going to be able to see that data. So there you go. That is the easiest way to hide the data in SharePoint so people can only go to Power Apps. So that, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna keep trying to bring you content that no one else is bringing you. I know there's a lot of content out there and I know Shane Young is very good at what he does. Um, and I know Reza out there is also great, but I'm gonna try and bring you guys more information about Power Apps 
And uh, thank you guys for watching. For all that have already subscribed, thank you guys. I appreciate everything. This is my SharePoint questions. I'll see you next time.